Hello. Right, we're going to try and uh, cut out this hyena. And uh, we'll uh, start by picking the selection tool. And we'll just make a basic selection. There we go. If we move up and reduce the size of the brush just to get the ears in, run down the spine. There we go. Let's try and get that in. Right. We've got the basic shape in there. Oh, a little bit on the nose. Let's just get that edge in. Oh, gone a little bit too far. Let's bring that in. Okay, once we've done that, we can hit the Refine tool. <clears throat> and we can go around the edges and tidy them up a little bit. So what we're going to do is come down here and just reselect this edge. And it'll just refine it. And I'm going to tell it which is foreground. Let's just take that little bit out there. That's good. Just run down here. You see it picking up a few more hairs. All right, and pick background. I'm just going to take that in a little bit. There we go. So that's the foreground. Reduce the brush and just come up into the edges of the ears. There we go. Same along here. Now, this is going to be uh, a little bit of time, so. Right, just finish off the last little bit. Oops, pick the wrong option there. Let's force that to be foreground. There we go. Yeah, that's better. OK, so that's the selection complete. So I'll just hit apply and we get our marching ants and what I can do now is just add a mask. Now around the edges you'll get some grey areas so that's like a transition um, and you won't really see that once the background's been put on. So we'll now go and add our background. There we go. And we'll uh, copy that, go back to our original image and paste it. I've got the marching ants still there, so I'll just turn those off, don't need them anymore. Uh, the image is quite a bit bigger than the hyena, so I'll just move that in. And it's sitting on top, so I need to bring it down the layers to the bottom. There we go, and we'll just position it so uh, we'll just leave it there. And if I pick the hyena, I'll just move him down slightly. There we go. Now, if we look at the edges, uh, we've got all the hairs coming around here. We've even got some coming through. Again, around the edges here. So that's looking quite good. There we go. Um, what we might want to do is sharpen the image a little bit just on the hyena. So we've got that selected. And we add a high pass filter. And if I just zoom in here and just increase the radius until we just see some of the detail. There we go. And we'll make that a linear light blend and we can just turn that on and off just to make sure it's what we want. There we go. Yep, that seems okay. Now we've got some remnants from uh, the image so I just need to go back onto the mask and Yep, there we go. I just go onto the mask and get my paintbrush and just knock that out. Uh, let's put a hardness up. There we go. And along the top.
top here. There we go. Just get rid of that. There we go. It's gone. Right. Uh, the lighting's not quite right because the light's coming in from the left and it looks like it's fairly flat all over the hyena. So what we'll do is um, we shall add an exposure and reduce the exposure down. There we go. That's obviously affecting everything. So I can just grab the exposure and just put it against the hyena only but we don't want the entire thing dark we want the front lit up so let's reduce my hardness and just gently brush in some lightness to the front there we go let's get his face nice and bright and just feather that out let's just have a look at that so the exposure, there we go. We can still see a bit of an edge there, so let's just get rid of that. Let's just turn the hardness back up and the opacity. Just get rid of that edge there and the one across the top. Okay, so um, that's a little bit better. Maybe a little bit too dark, so... Um, Let's produce the hardness down again and uh, opacity and just run once down the back. There we go. That seems to be a little bit better there. And what I might want to do is just add a uh, contrast. Let's add a bit of clarity. Let's just have a look at his face. Might be a little bit too much. Yeah, just bring out the details a little bit more. There we go. And if we wanted to, we could just um, add a curves and just see if we can just bring the overall picture up. Just bring it down a little bit. That's better. Okay, and there we go. Just zoom up there a little bit, and we've got it.